Welcome to the Path to Purpose interview show, where we share our unique and universal stories about finding and fulfilling our purpose. My name is Kati Rusanen, and I'm your host, story coach, and a mentor for purpose driven entrepreneurs. My intention for this show is to inspire you on your path to purpose. Today, I have a pleasure to interview my friend, Eva Karin Wallin, who is the creator of the Expansion Method, author of The Powerless Thought, and a professional speaker. She's known internationally as the queen of transformation because she helps her audience and clients release what is holding them back and rewire their minds so they can easily step up their game and grow their business. Who is up for that? I am. So let's find more about her path and I will also ask her best steps how you can release what's holding Holding you back. So welcome, Eva Karin. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. And I'm excited to be here. I thank you so much for this opportunity to share something that is so dear to my heart and something that is important actually for everyone to know. That's from my perspective anyway. Beautiful. And could you please tell us a bit more about you? I just did a brief bio and please also share where you are located so we can put you on the map. Yeah, I'm in Sweden right now in Stockholm area. And uh, that's where I mainly work from. And the reason I do what I do is that 20 years ago, when I started my coaching business, I had really no clue what I was stepping into. And no one heard about coaching. And I was not, I didn't know how to sell something intangible as coaching. Mm. Um, and I, I quickly took on a business mentor. And that made me go on the route to teach others about sales and marketing. Because when I learned it myself, I saw that it was missing for so many other solopreneurs. Yes. But still, I felt like I was doing the right things, but I, I, you know, I came to a certain limit and then I couldn't reach beyond that limit and I didn't understand why. Mm. And also what I did, it was I compared myself to the, you know, top notch coaches that made six figures and beyond. And they said, well, I send out an email and I make this much money every time. And yeah. I, I just made a tiny bit and I felt like a loser instead of really, you know, seeing that I was doing good, you know, yeah. depending on the, the size of the list and everything. Anyways, so then I came to learn something that really changed my life uh, totally, totally. And, and that was the, the fears and the disbeliefs that I had that I tried to to suppress or, or run away from, they contain the keys to transformation. And it, that was such a big revelation for me. And I remember one specific moment where I had been in, a, in an incident where I totally felt out of place and I felt, you know, I didn't belong to these kind of people. And I went from that gathering with a pain in my stomach. And I really felt, you know, like worthless. And instead of doing what I used to do before, like suppress it or pretend it wasn't there, I looked at it and I, I discovered what was the message in that painful feeling. And suddenly when that pain was listened to, it released by itself. I didn't have to fight it anymore. And I felt calm and I felt good. And I, I didn't feel like I was less worthy anymore. And that was such a big thing for me. And the funny thing was that I, I remember how I was looking out to the window and I saw the trees and I saw the houses that the same as yesterday, but they looked differently. It was such a strange, strange thing. And yeah. of course they weren't different. It was me that was different. My perception was different. So uh, that, that was so amazing for me. And that was so profound. And I say that that was the day I fell in love with obstacles. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for trouble. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, thank you so much for sharing that journey because, well, just if you're listening to this, just are you playing that comparison game? I have played that many times and it's not fun. <laughs> it's like well, we, always we always compare ourselves with someone that is way, way beyond our where we yeah. are. Of course, it's not fun <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Yeah. it's it's just like checking where are you and I, what I loved what you shared is also like recognizing those feelings and then you started to sharing like what worked for you but one of the things as well is really to recognize those because often we just want to push through at least I've been like you just <laughs> you just keep going and yeah. don't deal with those things and emotions like I, I think we both come from Nordic culture as well yes it's not always like talking about emotions and all these things you just be efficient do things and move and uh, so so when you share that like I was like yeah I, I I see that like how magic can happen when you have the courage and you did and you just things started shifting that moment so tell tell us a little bit like from that pivotal moment what happened next <laughs> yeah well I mean it's to me it felt like I've, I found a gold mine mm. and I started to work with continue to work with myself like that and and then also with my clients at the time and i remember how i felt like my life is like clay in my hands i can make whatever i want with it mm. and i really set a goal to find the the most easy uh way to transform our limitations and it took me a few years but when you set your mind to something and you don't give up you keep moving towards it you it will come up come to you and what came to me after a few years was well first it was learning how to release the the unwanted emotions the the limiting beliefs the, the patterns in the subconscious mind mm -hmm. so that was step number one so i did that for quite some time and you know i started to feel better and better and my clients felt the same way and for some clients, uh, they moved really, really quickly forward, but not everyone. And I was puzzled, why is that? And then uh, I realized that, well, okay, we take away the old programmings, those that no longer works for us, but we also need to give your, the subconscious mind new instructions because mm -hmm. it will manifest whatever we tell it that it understands. So that became sort of the, the final part of the expansion method. So mm -hmm. I see it as a cycle. So first you have an idea of what you want to create. And usually you get inspired and you start acting on it. And when you start acting on it and you're moving towards a higher level in whatever area of your life, doesn't matter, you will reach these limiting beliefs. They will come up to you in ways of, it could look like problems on the outside, but mainly it is about how you react to something. Mm. And that is nothing bad. It's not a negative at all. It's information. It's a possibility for you to create awareness of what actually you believe about yourself that you weren't aware of before. I, I think there is one key I just want to point it out where you said it's information because yeah. so often we judge these things it's so easy to judge like oh this this negative feeling and whatever the mind story is yeah it's information it's information so I choose to talk about these things without judgments so mm -hmm. I don't talk about them as positive or negative good yeah. or bad because that is judgments yeah. and that doesn't help mm -hmm. but see it from a neutral place and describing i i totally agree that it's uncomfortable <laughs> it is but it's still carrying information to you if you want to listen that will help you to move forward so they are your guides if you want to take them like that mm. so the, the next step is to dissolve the the unwanted emotion that you feel 
and when you become neutral you can create a new decision yeah i feel like i'm less worthy or i feel that i doubt that i can do whatever i set out to do it's not the truth it's just a belief about the future mm. but what do you want instead yeah i want to feel that i believe that i can make it so now you can make a conscious choice to decide something new for yourself and go back and remind yourself of your new choice about you and there's a shortcut as well to make the old uh, programming dissolve faster and that is actually to to say thank you to feel thankful towards it because it came and gave you awareness mm. and the reason why it hurts is because you didn't listen before yeah so the faster you can catch it the less painful it is mm -hmm. yeah and i love that you bring the gratitude in because that is such a powerful energy when we tap into gratitude and it's so true it's these, these things are for you they are not against you exactly <laughs> for you <laughs> even though when we are going through some feelings or emotions they might feel that things are against you but they yeah are totally <laughs> it's not really that way so thank you so much for sharing that process the method and just want to check in from your personal journey like because i know you you walk your talk so you use your method as well for your own business and your own growth so can you share what has been one of the things that you have experienced a shift as you have used the expansion method yeah you know the funny thing is that when i release stuff they disappear so i don't really remember them yeah they they are really gone <laughs> they are really gone so but what i can say i can give some examples because i remember how uh, uh, for instance i was afraid of i mean doing a talk like this seeing myself and listening to myself you know oh that was so uncomfortable and speaking in front of people was so uncomfortable uh two weeks back um i've been taking some courses in improvisation theater and i just love it and we me and my husband took it together and we were invited to a party a couple of weeks back and instead of you know celebrating the woman that uh, had her 50th birthday we decided to do some improv show for her instead it was 65 people in the room and I was totally calm. My husband, he's a performer. He loves to be in front of people. He said, no, my heart is racing just before we were going to get up. And I felt I'm totally calm. Wow. I had no nervousness at all. I mean, you, sh you should have heard me the first time I was about to speak. I didn't have a voice because I was so, so stressed out. I know I have been there too. <laughs> <laughs> But I want to tell you another story. I had a lunch meeting today with a lady that I worked with uh, last Tuesday. And she has a, you know, a big company and it took a hard hit during the pandemic. So she, she didn't have any new sales coming in for 18 months. So, mm -hmm. so she had some recurring uh, things going on that saved the company. But now it was really, really on the edge. And we had a session on Tuesday and it was focused on releasing money blocks. And Wednesday morning, she had three offers coming to her just uh -huh. out of the blue. One company was just, she never heard of before that looked her up. Another company was a company that she had had some contact with a year ago. The third one, I don't remember, but three invitations, you know, to offers to, because they wanted wow. her and that is what happens when you clear the blocks and the thing is we 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 forget that we are more than our five senses mm. and we tend to you know you're from finland i'm from sweden and we have a lot of lakes yeah so just imagine that you and i were standing you know beside a lake and we see the beautiful forest around it and it's a small lake so we see you know the 
everything like and you say to me oh it's so beautiful and it's wonderful to see that we see the whole lake from here but we don't that's we right. just see the surface but we tend to see it that way like we see the whole lake but we don't see what's beneath the surface and it's same with us and our conscious and subconscious mind we tend to just focus on the surface what our conscious mind sees and forget there's so much more Mm. Mm. there totally is and one of the things though like you just thank you for sharing that example and your own journey because it is when we release the old there is room for new that's how I say it and it's but there is this funny thing that so many people have like almost allergy towards doing this kind of work <laughs> to releasing these blocks and what's holding them back so why is that in your opinion why do we resist this work first of all yeah if you're interested in personal development and you have done a lot of it maybe you have taken it from from the hard perspective and that is by either seeing that is something wrong with you and you're trying to fix what's wrong and it's not a good um, way to approach it because it's not that it's anything wrong with us it's not that is not the reason we go into personal development the reason is to to expand and grow and e experience more of ourselves and feel more joy in life that's the reason i think that it, it's a good reason to go into personal development but also because most of the techniques at least what i tried before was trying to change me by starting to think differently and it works but it's hard work mm. so the expansion method is the other way around so we start to focus on what you know set out a goal for something and when you if you would say that something you will achieve you feel that it's not true yet and you might have some disbelief of how it's going to happen or if it's going to ever happen and that is the key to find the way into the subconscious mind to see what is actually going on and i've seen this so many times that intellectually we, we feel yeah. that yeah i think it's because of this but when we dig deeper and we see what comes up not analyzing just noticing what comes up it can be something totally different yeah. and it, it's like every time i go into a session it's like a, something new i have no idea what where it's going to take us yeah. it's like a new adventure every time so uh you know the most interesting thing can come up and old memories that is long forgotten may come up because what happened that was emotionally hard and that is still uh, acting out in your behavior today mm -hmm. and blocking you from achieving no matter how hard you work. Yeah. And I love what you said there about this, because I, when I do this type of work with my clients, I always say like, forget the logic like yes. right now to say whatever <laughs> is there because sometimes people are analyzing in their head like this doesn't yeah. make sense i'm like just whatever comes forward say it like <laughs> never yeah. mind. it does not need to make sense and mm -hmm. i love that there is the option to have the safe and sacred place and do this work with you and then rewiring your your yourself your mind towards who you truly want yeah so that is a super powerful work because it is when you can embody and really feel that this is true yeah. and have trust in the process even though you cannot see how it's going to happen and that's a tricky part and um, but when you can feel calm about it that is when miracles appear Mm. because mm. you know sometimes i got this idea that the subconscious mind is like this big you know it's the universe mm. so we're all connected in some way because it's a co-creation 
because if I set a goal that uh, I, uh, I have 10 clients in my next uh, expansion method training program, for instance, I cannot decide who is going to come, but I can make a decision to have 10 people. Mm. And when I do the work, it's going to catch on to those people that feel the draw from it if I do my part right. So, so we are co-creating everything. And another thing that, uh, uh, something that tripped me before was, I was trying to figure out how things were gonna happen. And it's like, you know, this idea that I have to do all the work, but it's everyone is doing something. So we, that is how we co-create. And that is the, how the world is working. We are co-creating the world and how the, it evolves and everything. But we don't actually see it so often like that. We just see our own part. Mm. And wow, thank you for sharing that. And I think there is real keys for someone because I know there is a lot of <laughs> entrepreneurs watching this and of, many of them have their programs or offers or services. So having that clear goal and yeah. then trusting, that was the word. Like when you said that trusting, that is such a key. So trusting what is possible. And you know what happens for me sometimes when uh, I set a new goal and then I work with it and I, and I come into the feeling of trusting the process and then nothing really happens. Mm. fear comes up and then it's so important to not suppress the fear but to actually look at it because it's just that I'm about to reach a new level mm. so because I also hear sometimes that people say well I'm working with having trust which to me is a wrong way to go around it it's the normal state for us to be in so it's more about looking at what is the reason we don't have trust, live in trust? Because that is, again, a message, information from our subconscious mind that this is an idea you have about the trust that needs to be dissolved for you to actually be in trust. And it's all, it, you have to be aligned with what you want to create. Then it has to happen. It cannot not happen. But to notice even the small things that, emotion reaction come up in the way that is the way to actually consciously create uh, the future of your dreams beautiful and now if someone is there and has inspiration to start taking steps forward and they want to start consciously creating their dreams so what do you think it could be of one practical thing how they can start this process how they, get, how they can get started. Yeah. Look within to see what you're really looking, longing for because the heart is showing you the way, not your brain. Mm. Try to let your brain go on vacation now and then and relax. <laughs> <laughs> so you can move down to your body. You know, the brain also have the same uh, brain neurons, like, uh, like the, the brain neurons as the brain has. Mm. So it has a brain of its own what the heart doesn't have is an ego. Mm. So when you can think from your heart, you are so much more powerful. That's why I, I had the title. Oh, the book is only available, available in Swedish uh, so far, but the powerless thought, because I think that people put too much effort in the positive thinking and the powerful thought. Just imagine how many times you have the thinking about doing something that never went got done yeah. but when you felt something you couldn't resist it yeah. you see how much power, more powerful your emotions are so you take advantage of that so go down to your heart and listen into your heart and see what is your heart longing for for you that mm -hmm. is your path that is your way to find your purpose and again trust the process and I'm not saying it's an easy path I'm not promising you that but if you're willing to take it, you're going to have fun during the way. You're going to enjoy it. And every time you meet an obstacle, no matter how, how it looks like, 
remember it's happening for you it gives you information so you can see in what area you can grow and have a way to dissolve it if nothing else just give gratitude to the unwanted feeling the uncomfortable feeling because that will help you to dissolve it so you can get the message and then you have moved up a notch and you can make a conscious decision about seeing you from a different perspective that's right and now and, if, and then take action again and now if one of the actions for people i want to contact Eva karin <laughs> to get her help because that's my recommendation we are now here on our own we have available and sometimes it is like you can start with the first step on your own but you can also have support so how can people find more about you and your work what's the best way for them to reach you well uh, go to my website evacarinvalin.com um, yeah, i will put I, them on the comments as well yeah. and facebook is also a good way for me to reach out and what i have as a possibility for you to just experience the expansion method at no cost is uh, on my website you can go to shop and there you can sign up one month free and no if, if you don't want to continue you just stop it like you don't have to just go there and feel for yourself if you like it or not and i have different themes for different months and you will see what theme it is uh, when you come to the website Oh, wow. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful gift. So please do check. I put the links to the comments below so you can have that experience, like experience the expansion and see what it can do for you. So test it out. And now as we are wrapping up this interview here, do you have a special message that you would like to share? <clears throat> Yeah, I would like to say something that may sound like a cliche, but it isn't, is that you do have the power within you to create what you want and don't believe in anything else, no matter the situation you're in. I have been in a situation where I got the, that message and I felt, you don't understand me. Mm. But looking back, it was me that didn't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> so just you know for for your sake and for the world's sake because we definitely need everyone or as many as possible to raise up their energy in this time to and um, not rely on other people more than to rely on you mm -hmm. you are powerful and whatever you see in someone else do if you feel jealous or something about that person it's a sign it's on it's your path and if someone else has done it you can do it too wow. and it might take a long journey to get there but if you feel the longing for it go for it because it's your thing and whatever obstacle you meet when you come out on the other side the gift is always bigger than the struggle was wow thank you that really touched me as well so thank you for sharing that message Eva Karin, and thank you for your time and all the work that you do in the world and thank you for having me here i enjoy to share my message and hopefully inspire other people to take charge of their own lives yeah you certainly did and thank you for watching the path of purpose interview show if you want more support reach out to Eva Karin and also you can join Lightworkers Who Succeed on Purpose Facebook community. I'm sending you loads of light and love. Stay well <laughs> and stay tuned for the next episode.